What's your 20? On the balcony for a smoke with a menace. Those men on the balcony, that could be my way in. Case. Penguin murdered Black Mask and his lady friend. I mean, we found the bastard's stubby little fingerprints right by the body. Yeah, we got Penguin now. Like to see him screw him out of this one. Engage! Engage! Police believe Penguin murdered Black Mask, but why would he send me here if he was the killer? It doesn't add up. This crime took place days ago. The fire and the exposure to the elements make identifying the victims difficult. The male victim is wearing a black mask but I can't positively identify him as Roman Sionis without a DNA analysis. Something I can't do in the field. I can identify the female victim based on her fingerprints. Tiffany Ambrose, Roman Sionis' girlfriend, or one of them at least. She was no angel, long list of priors, but nothing to indicate she was the target here. Fire spread as a result of a Molotov cocktail thrown into the room. It may have been intended to destroy evidence. The shallow trajectory of the bullet suggests the shooter could be someone of Penguin's height. But the grooves on the floor suggest that the victim was killed by someone leaning back in a chair. This bullet was fired from a revolver. Ballistics analysis indicates a low angle of trajectory. The shooter could have been someone of Penguin's height, but the pattern in the gunpowder residue suggests the bullet was actually fired by someone lying on the ground. These fingerprints are a match for the penguin, but they're on top of the soot from the fire. The cops were right. Penguin was in the room, but these prints prove he was here after the murders were committed. If he didn't kill Black Mask, who did? The only thing I know for certain is that Tiffany's shooter was lying on the floor. But why? These white streaks are shoe polish. Whoever shot Tiffany was being dragged along the floor. Besides the victims, there were two other people in the room. Tiffany's shooter, and whoever was dragging the shooter. The location from which the male victim was shot may tell me more. The DNA here doesn't belong to either of the victims. Whose is it? The fight broke out when someone startled the shooter. It's not clear who won the fight. It could have been either one of them. I should review the evidence to see if I can learn anything more about either the intruder or the shooter. Fabric analysis indicates the intruder was wearing a white suit or sport jacket. This fabric swatch could help identify the intruder, but I still can't identify the male victim's shooter. There's one impact area I haven't checked for clues.
this DNA is from the female victim, the level of oxidation suggests it's been here for several days. If I review the evidence, I may be able to find out what she was doing when she was attacked. She was sending text messages to Roman Sianus about someone named the Joker. Someone killed Black Mask, but this crime took place several days ago, and I saw Black Mask earlier tonight. The only answers I have raise more questions. Who is the Joker? Was he the killer here, or is he one of the assassins? I have a body, an unknown shooter, and an unknown assailant who attacked the shooter. I need to match the DNA samples against the records in the National Criminal Database to identify who was in the room. Alfred, I need access to the National Criminal Database. Well, the only way to do that would be to infiltrate the Gotham City Police Department. Then that's where I'm going. Sir, you'd need to physically hack into their servers. If you insist on doing something that foolish, you'll need a powerful non-lethal weapon. I recommend coming back here to pick up your concussion detonator. Not a bad idea. Welcome home, sir. The concussion detonator is on your workbench. Remember, if you use that instead of your fists, you'll do less lasting damage to those police officers and civil servants. Noted. Attention. Otherwise, you 
Otherwise, you'll never make it to the silver guy they brought. Understood. Thanks. Never seen anything like this before. If it looks like a bat and sounds like a bat. Call this one in. We need some backup. Gonna make an example out of this freak. <laughs> Probably another water pipe bursting. 
Love to go take a look, but you know, my ship's over. Low. Low this won't be easy, but if I'm going to access the National Criminal Database and find out what happened at Lacey Towers, I need to find the server room without being discovered. in the crime scene, not Gavin. I wonder the bat got the drop on him. Oh. Must you be so brutal, sir? These are city employees. They're as corrupt as they come, and they're in my way. I wish you'd think twice about that approach, sir. You never know when you might need their help. At any rate, your objective is the GCPD server room. I've marked it on your map. Man, I hate the I'll be able to access doors like this with my cryptographic sequencer. I'll need to find another way. I won't stand a chance against that many armed men. I can use Deathstroke's remote claw to pass above their heads undetected. Listen up. While you jokers are playing cleanup for a black gate, I was making us some money. I worked out a deal with our pal Black Mask. If any of us can kill the bat before the assassins get to him, we get to hit the bat, all right?
creeps fast. Yeah, keep her in. What does this disruptor of yours do? Little bit of this, little bit of that. Mostly, though, it does a whole lot of none of your damn business. Oh. <laughs> Not you again! Talk, or you won't be walking anywhere, ever. No way! You gotta answer for dropping me off that rooftop, buddy! No, you have to answer to me. How does this disruptor work? Ask one of the pigs. They got it in evidence lockup. How about we take a little walk up to the roof? Okay, okay, you win. It it jams weapons, overrides electronic locks. All right, now you gotta let me go. How'd that work out for you last time? Oh. Anarchy? He will wipe this city clean of your filth! Yeah? <laughs> 